The Honorable Sir Ian Winder, Chief Justice of the Commonwealth of the Bahamas. The Honorable Pia Glover Roll, Minister of Labor and Department of Public Service. Your Honor Demerity Francis, President of Industrial Tribunal. Justices and members of the Tribunal, Your Excellencies, Distinguished Ladies and Gentlemen, good day. I am humbled and honored to have been invited to extend remarks at this auspicious occasion that marks the opening of the legal year of the Industrial Relations Tribunal. This gathering represents a significant milestone in our collective efforts to promote equitable labor relations and uphold the fundamental rights of workers in this nation. The United Nations recognizes the crucial role played by Industrial Relations Tribunals in ensuring fairness, justice, and social cohesion in the world of work. These institutions serve a critical forum for resolving disputes, fostering dialogue, and promoting the peaceful coexistence of employers and workers. Today, we gather to reaffirm our commitment to these principles and to address the issues that impact the Bahamian workforce. The Sustainable Development Goals set forth by the United Nations place utmost importance on decent work and economic growth. We firmly believe that access to fair employment, just working conditions, and effective mechanisms for disparate resolutions are not just ethical imperatives, but also integral components of overall de development. When workers feel safe, protected, and empowered, it leads to increased productivity, social stability, and shared prosperity. The role of the Bahamas Industrial Relations Tribunal in upholding these ideals cannot be overstated. Your ability to impartially adjudicate on disputes, enforce labor laws, and provide a platform for dialogue and negotiation is central to achieving social justice in the workplace. It is through your efforts that we can address inequalities, prevent labor exploitation, and strive for greater equity in our society. Furthermore, this tribunal also plays a vital role in promoting sustainable economic growth. By ensuring that labor rights are respected, we enhance investor confidence, attract foreign direct investment, and foster an environment conducive to business development. This in turn leads to job creation, innovation, and increased economic opportunities for all. As we begin this session, I urge all parties involved, including employers, workers, and representatives, to engage in constructive dialogue, empathy, and a genuine pursuit of common ground. The success of the tribunal relies on the collective commitment and cooperation of all stakeholders. Let us aim to build bridges, resolve disputes, and create a climate of mutual understanding, recognizing that the well-being of workers and the prosperity of business are uniquely linked. In concluding, I would like to express my congratulations to the hardworking members of the Industrial Relations Tribunal, led by President Francis, who have tirelessly dedicated themselves to the pursuit of justice and fairness. Your impartiality, integrity, and professionalism inspire confidence in the system and strengthen the fabric of industrial relations in this country. Let us stand united in our pursuit of justice and progress, leverage this tribunal session to forge new paths towards fairness inclusivity and prosperity for all. Together we can build a future where the rights of workers are upheld, where employers thrive and where the Bahamas flourishes. Thank you and I wish you a productive and a successful session. <laughs>